Hello. Thank you so much for opening the video. I'm Kim Wade. So first I want to tell you a story so you know where we're headed. So back in my 20s, I used to wait tables at a 24-hour wine bar and coffee shop. So we had regulars, lots and lots of regulars. And every single day, Ed would come in and he would order the same thing, two blueberry pancakes, side of bacon and coffee black, right? Two blueberry pancakes, bacon on the side, coffee black every single day. And he sit at the same table, table 34 all the time. And at the end of every single meal, he always ended it the same way. We sort of waited for it. He would wipe his mouth with the napkin, toss it into the plate and then say, okay, time to get organized. I mean, every single time. Okay time to get organized. And I really do agree with Ed. I have found that that mantra throughout my life has really uh, appealed to me and really sort of served me well. And I want to say the same thing to you. Okay. It's time to get organized. So what does it mean to get organized? Let me show you. The way I like to look at it is this. Okay. So I like to, these are trees. Okay. These are trees. And this is the road. This is the road. Now, you know what I'm talking about. You know that if you're trugging along your life and you're taking care of yourself and everybody around you who you love is happy and things are just going with the flow, you are content. We say we're walking the path, right? We're walking the path. But life doesn't do that very often, right? The tire on the car goes flat. Your uh, teenager has a, something happen. Somebody uh, gets hurt or injured in some way that's uh, perilous. Something happens and it throws us off the road. And I drew these trees, these amazing looking trees, because what can happen to us is not only do we get thrown off the road, but we land against this tree and we could get lost for a week, two weeks, a month. 10 years, right? We can get really, really lost. And so lost, in fact, that we can't even remember where the road was. Are we north? Are we south? Are we east? And we get really far away from the path. You can think about it going farther away. So as Ed said, part of getting organized is knowing what keeps me on the path. And if you need more support than what you're getting on these tutorials and on these ponderings, you know, you can always reach out to me for a coaching call or joining my women's group where we work deeper at this. But I'm hoping that this video right here will give you an idea of something you can do right now that will help you like Ed feel like you're starting every day with I'm organized and I know what I, what's expected of me and what I want. So I like to think, think of the road as like the Dharma path, the path of greatest service. You're showing up in your responsibilities so much so that you're also open to seeing what your life purpose is, what your, what your, uh, your gift to the world is. And depending upon how lost you are from the road, that might not feel very uh, easily attainable to you, but we're going to do it. We're going to get organized. So what are some of the things that you know that you absolutely know make you feel like you're on the path. I'm going to just put out just for the sake of short uh, video here, some things I know, you know, um, sleeping well. Okay. Sleeping well. What else? Um, having loved ones around me. Brushing my teeth or my hair, you know, sometimes when we are really in crisis, that just doing that is hard. And, and I know some of you right now are like, yeah, she gets me. I do. I get you. Whatever it is, you know, getting more evolved, you could say, you know, doing yoga daily, uh, spending time in nature, walking outside, like all the things. So the first thing I want you to do here in the sense of getting organized is I want you to think about when you are doing these things that you feel nurtured and cared for and supported and organized, what are they? I literally want you to write them down. Um, what are the basic, basic, basic things that you need to happen in your day for you to feel like you are cared for? That's all I want you to do on this first section. Okay. That's it. For those of you who want to go deeper, for those of you who want to go deeper, the next question, if you choose to accept it is see the curbs on this road, right? You know how you're driving in that 
car hits the bump, the curb, and you know that your car hit and you sort of pull back on the road, what are the things that make you not pull back on the road? What is the curb hit that takes you off? You know, for uh, some people, it's, you know, not having any time off from work, uh, not having healthy boundaries, um, drinking too much, drugging too much, uh, emotionally eating, like, the, what are those things that you know you do that sort of take you off feeling grounded, well, and organized? And just being aware of it is key, okay? That's all I want you to do in this video is just what are the things that I know I can do every day that make me feel like I'm in my alignment? I'm like Ed, right? And what are the things that I know that happen to me throughout the day that bump me on the curb? Maybe I can pull back if I had a good night's sleep. Maybe that's not going to take me off. But if I didn't have a good night's sleep, I'm going off into the trees and I might get lost for a few days or like I said, 10 years. And then you're looking at the person you married and the, all the weight and the, and the fatigue and the anger and the bitterness. You're like, what happened? What happened? All that happened is you got off your path. And every day is a begin again. Every day is a begin again. So you didn't miss anything. You just start from where you are today. What is it I have to do today? And I always like to think of a newborn baby. I need to go boop. I need to have some water. I need to have some fun. I need to have some love, right? I need to have some food, right? Basic necessities. So I want you to do this to get organized, thinking about the bare necessities of what you have to do. Maybe it's only three things. Okay. And as always, if you want to reach out, please reach out. I'm here for you. I am totally standing by much love and I'll see you next time. Namaste. Bye. Have a great day.